Alright guys, Impact Fitness and Warner Robins, it's time for your preview video for the upcoming week. First we want to give you a, a mindset principle to get you started, to get you locked in for this week. Alright, what we've noticed when you guys come to boot camp is that some of you guys gravitate towards the lightest weight with the kettlebells or dumbbells or whatever. And, you know, when you're a beginner, that's okay to kind of get familiar with what we're doing. But if you've been coming a while, you got to start stepping it up and using heavier weights, okay? This whole misconception about uh, if I lift heavier weight, it's going to bulk me up and all these things, that uh, misconceptions that you women have about lifting weights, you need to get it out of your mind because if you really want to get results and get that lean muscle tissue uh, so that you can burn that body fat off, you got to start increasing the weight and challenging yourself. So this week, I'm going to challenge you guys, and this is what I want you to focus on doing. For uh, When we do Monday through Wednesday, eight rounds per station, for the first four rounds, you can use a medium weight, one that's you know challenging but not uh, your maximum weight that you can do. And then for the last four rounds, I want you to do the heaviest weight you can. Now, those of you that already challenged yourself, you can challenge yourself the whole time. But it is a good idea to go with a lighter weight until you get some of the movements down and get that, uh, that central nervous system primed and ready to go and then crank it up with a heavier weight, okay? Get ready for this uh, week's workout. It's going to be a lot of core, a lot of resistance training to build that lean tissue, burning a lot of calories, okay? Come in with a good attitude. All right, for your first station, we're going to uh, stagger our stance or actually just uh, put one foot on the step going to have the kettlebell in your right hand, same uh, side as the step. Press it up, and then what you're going to do is keep both legs straight. Slide your hand down the front of your left leg. Look up at the kettlebell to keep it in line with your shoulder, and then pop back up. All the way down. See how I'm looking up? Legs are straight. Pop back up. The elevation of that foot on the step is going to really help you feel it right there where you want to feel it. All right, guys. Station number two. Do a modified little elevated mountain climber. A little bit better on your wrist, many variations, and also you can do it from your forearms if you want to. It's actually harder. And then we're going to alternate that one with the Bulgarian split squat. Great leg developer. Flat foot on the step. Walk out a little bit. Go straight down. You're going to touch your ankle or try to. Bend that back leg. Come straight up. No weights this time. We're going to focus on good form on that one. Alright guys, this is my invention. If you haven't seen the video, I'll show you how to make one of these for 30 bucks at Lowe's. And we got it loaded up with a little bit of weight. You're going to do two different uh, exercises on here. You're going to bend your legs, bend over at uh, hinge at the hips, and do a, a pull. It's like a T-bar roll. Pulling those elbows straight back. Notice my back is not rounded. Shoulders are back, head is up. Legs are bent, pressing through the heels, okay? Then for the second 30 seconds, you're going to deadlift it. So you're keeping your arms straight, go down, power it up, down, power it up, power it up, okay? Now, this is how easy it is to change the weight when it's your turn. We're going to have kettlebells right there, so it's going to be that easy to put the weight on and off so that you can challenge yourself like I told you in the mindset principle. All right, guys, for the fourth station, we've got it set up where you can easily put your... Uh, in step into the suspension trainer, getting a good push up position, core tight. Press out a good push up into a tight. Control it both ways, okay? She's doing a little explosive there. Now, if you're not strong enough to do this, we're going to show you a modification. You're going to put your feet in, hold a plank, and it's called a saw. You're going to saw back and forth, just keeping that body in good alignment and go back and forth, pulling yourself forward and back without bending your body at all. All right, guys, for your fifth station, you're going to grab your dumbbells. Your feet are going to be close together. You're going to do a soft hop out into a squat as you bring the dumbbells up to 90 degrees. Pop back up. Sink down with your hips. Head up, chest up, core tight. Get into that good squat. Hold it for a pause. Come back up. Bam. Bam. Now, this is going to be an active rest period. You're going to hinge forward at the hips. Do some tricep. Kick it back, kick it back, all right? All right, guys, we got a stress relief station for you. Slam ball, pick it up. You got to get it over your head. Slam it down as hard as you can. If you can catch it on the bounce, that's fine. Just grab it, make sure you bend your legs when you grab it. And slam it as hard as you can.